Hey, I am here uh, teaching a class covering our uh, last week's class, which was um, patchwork houses. So uh, for the Oops I Arted um, homeschool classes, uh, we actually have a variety of projects that are, sorry, a variety of materials that you can use for this uh, project. Um, some fun things to collect might be pa um, fabric, not paper <laughs> yet. Um, so fabric scraps. Um, these are just from my stash. So of course, ask your parents. Make sure that the fabric that you are using is able to be used on an art project. Um, it like this is even just an old pair of jeans. So there's a lot of different things you can use. Uh, maybe you have sequins or ribbon or just little bits and baubles um, that you've collected. Maybe you're like me and you save all those things in a little place and then maybe one day you'll get to use them on an art project. So I've got those for this project. Um, you're going to need a couple sheets of white paper. So just your regular white paper. You can use cardstock too. Might be kind of nice to make it a little more stable. Um, you're going to need some glue. I used um, my uh, Mod Podge that's in a squeeze tube, but you could also use a glue stick. You could use Elmer's. Um, if you have a different kind of glue that maybe needs to be painted on, you could use that too. So there's a lot of options with this. Um, you need some magazines or um, maybe colorful construction paper, um, scrapbook paper. You could also use um, paper sacks from when you go grocery shopping. I actually used a calendar. Um, we get a cool calendar every year and I have this really cool one that is... Um, got lots of uh, mindfulness quotes in it so I really like it and it's got really pretty artwork so I've kept it um, for quite a while it's 2016 <laughs> so I decided to use that in the project um, you might want some pencils uh, scissors and um, crayons or colored pencils you could also use paint as long as you ask your parents if that's okay to use the paint like acrylic paint if you have some really fancy markers you could do that you could even do watercolor so there's a lot of really cool things that you could do with this technique so the basis of this uh, technique is we're going to make sort of like um, like a cool imaginary or um, realistic house so the foundation is basically two simple shapes and then you can embellish it however you want. So the first part is to get your white sheet of paper that's got, um, doesn't have anything cut out, sorry. So get your white sheet of paper, just one, and you're going to set that down. That's going to be the base for your house. And then your second paper is going to be what you use to cut your windows and doors out of, if you would like. That's my cat coming in the door. Um, you are going to make windows and doors out of that. Um, the reason you use the white paper is because you can draw the windows and doors and you can make them look like real windows and doors. So they might not stand out as much if you use the magazine paper. So that's what we're going to cut into this one. Um, so we had the textures class that we did with Stephanie and those techniques can all be used on this project. The techniques that we use for building the animal habitat would actually be really cool on this too. You could make it 3D if you want. That's going to be a challenge for you if um, you want to take it to that. It's your, it's your art, so you can do whatever you want. So for this, I started with a simple triangle shape. So that was my roof. And I do want to make sure that it's not going to be bigger than my paper, right? So you may want to take and just trace that in with a pencil. So I'm going to just draw a simple shape, so a simple triangle. It's hard to see, but that's a triangle. Now, does the roof of your house have to be a triangle? No, it could be a dome. So my second one, you're going to get a cat cameo. <laughs> this is Maury. He is, um, he just recently got adopted. So he was a foster cat that I actually, we got from the Weber County Animal Shelter. <laughs> and he actually just got adopted um, on Saturday. So he's purring. So he he got to come to his forever home. Well, he'd been here, but it got, we made it official. So yes, he's very excited. Obviously he feels at home. So <laughs> we'll see how demanding he gets. He is a little bit funny. He's 
um, uh, very independent, so <laughs> I don't know exactly. Maury, what are you doing? Where's your eyes? Maury! Oh, oh! Uh, now he's pushing the keyboards, so no. Maury is obviously an artist, too, so I better get him some, some art classes, huh? Um, so you're going to go back to your shape and you're going to, um, basically decide what you want your roof to look like. Now it could be a triangle, it could be, um, domed. I actually did one that's sort of like a mushroom house. So I just liked this and I just cut it into a dome. Originally I was just going to make a domed house, sort of like, um, maybe like a yurt or something, um, like a different type of roof like there's thatched roofs right we have shingles um, the basic triangle shape is kind of like the classic um, roof that most of us have but there's different styles all around the world and if you want inspiration maybe you could get um, your parents to help you look up different types of dwellings or houses um, or maybe you just want to draw from your mind so or cut a shape from your mind so start with that. Um, what I did is I actually cut my shape out of my magazine paper first for this one. So I kind of had an idea of what I wanted it to be and I kind of traced it in on my paper. And then I was able to cut the shape out and trim it down or adjust it. So I actually started with the roof. Um, and then I, I decided that I wanted a little chimney from the extra, so I put that on. And then I found a really cool blue fabric that I want, or sorry, paper, <laughs> that I wanted to have be the, the base of the house. So it's just a square shape. You Again, you could have it be domed, you could have it be squiggly. It's all up to you, this is your art. So if you think about it as creating a house that you think would be like the coolest house to live in, then um, that's what you're gonna make. So I actually made a door that, oh, one of my hinges came off that is opened. So that door hinge is open. So that's a little from our um, animal habitat class where you're gonna make connections. You could make something spring or open or make a flap. Um, you could have more than one door. Maybe you want a door in the roof. <laughs> like, it's up to you. Maybe you want stairs coming out. So you get to decide all these fun things. Um, I really like trees, so I decided that I wanted trees in the house. The, the trees would be growing in the house. And then I also decided that one window would have sort of a sunrise, and then another window would have sort of a moon time or nighttime scene. And then I decided I wanted a moon and a heart in my um, my house and then I also put another moon in the sky against the purple sky so I just liked that fabric or that paper and <laughs> um, I just decided to use that extra little bit from cutting off this so you might have that's where the chimney came from you might have extra pieces that you end up cutting off and then you find uses for right so you're going to layer those on and just keep gluing as you go. And of course, once you get your house in, um, these actually, these little um, like plus signs actually ended up being glued on after because I liked the paper. So you could do that too. Um, I put started putting little stars in one side of the sky. And then I decided to color everything with purple. So maybe your sky is rainbow or maybe your sky is green. Like you can choose. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone else but you. So that's the fun part. It's art and you get to be as expressive and creative as you want to be. It can fit into something that's realistic or it can be completely something that is abstract and maybe just a cool part of your imagination. So the other thing, um, I actually found some words that I really liked. So I decided to incorporate those into this one, including the koi fish. And these are actually, finally, something that's fabric. These little polka dot materials are fabric. So I put them on my little um, dome house. And then I also took some marker, gold marker, and outlined everything. And on this one, I outlined everything with Sharpie to make it stand out a little bit more. So again, you have that as your option. Um, this one's cool because this was a tree picture, right? But this is the right way. But I thought it was fun to turn the tree upside down. So there's a lot of different ways you can incorporate the different types of material that you might be using. 
If you feel like something needs to pop off the paper a little bit more, maybe outline it and see if that helps. Um, I outlined this heart a little bit to make it more obvious. So um, I think you'll have fun with this. And you don't have to do one big house. You could also do a couple of options would be um, several little houses and maybe like a little village or a town. You could do that. Um, a couple kids actually made like sculptures. So they ended up taking bits of paper and actually forming um, like 3D sculptures with the paper. So whatever your little heart desires to do with this art project, you just do and create and have fun. And um, see you guys soon. All right, bye.